Miracle-Makers. So I'm back here to talk about the first book in the Christmas River Posey Mystery series, which is Murder in Christmas River, which is where Cinnamon's story begins and where we meet all the other lovely residents of Christmas River. So this book was published in 2012, which is crazy to me that it's been so long uh, since I started writing these uh, books. But uh, for me, the story really began in 2010 which is when I was a, a newspaper reporter for a small town newspaper in Central Oregon. Uh, so it was really kind of at the beginning of my kind of journalism career and that was my first real job after college. And uh, consequently, I was new, so I kind of ended up getting these stories that nobody else really, really wanted to cover, like things that were kind of deemed unimportant, um, things like, well, like the story I'm about to tell you now. Uh, so I ended up one morning coming to work. It was in December and there had been a snowstorm the day before and I got to work and there was this news tip on my desk about this possibly interesting story about a dog saving another dog uh, out in a town called Redmond, which was about 30 minutes away from where I worked. And um, it sounded like kind of a strange story, but very intriguing. Obviously, you don't hear about that too much. So I followed it up and um, it ended up being real, which I wasn't, I wasn't even sure if that it was going to end up being like a real story or just something somebody heard, but it ended up being a true story. And um, I won't go into the total, um, all the details here, just because it's kind of a long story. And I'm going to actually include the original article in a Facebook post later today. But uh, it was basically about this dog named Nala, and she was this part pit bull. Um, part lab who had been at the Humane Society shelter for a long time and during one of her daily walks um, she she ended up sniffing out this kind of creature that was just lying in a ditch and um, it had seemed to be out in the snowstorm all night and they found out that it was actually another dog that had once been at the shelter. Um, his name was Chadwick and he almost died but they saved him and he was okay and it was kind of this amazing dog hero story. So it really resonated with me and it and it really resonated with a lot of people because it um, ended up going viral the next day when the news article came out. And that was very exciting because I had never had anything like that happen to me before in my career. And suddenly the news article was everywhere, it got picked up by the AP and I was getting all these great calls from people who wanted to adopt Nala. So it was really an exciting story. Um, but I always, you know, remembered, I took away a lot about kind of the, the feeling of that story. It really carried with me. And about two years later, when I decided to, I wanted to write a book, um, I knew I kind of wanted elements of that in the book in terms of um, just that kind of cozy, warm uh, feeling of sort of miracles and just great things. So uh, when I look at Christmas, at Murder in Christmas River today, I really kind of see a um, that it's really a story about second chances, much like that that initial article that came out. And because um, every character in there kind of has a has a second chance story. And I think it's just really amazing how it just unfolded and Cinnamon appeared um, on the page for me. And I didn't even know, <laughs> I don't even know where she came from, but it was something very special and magical. So anyway, that's kind of the, the basic story on the Christmas River series. And I'm so glad I get to share that with you. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna be talking about Mayhem in Christmas River, book two, and kind of some stories behind that. But um, so I'll see you then. And thanks so much for joining me here.